Hi, I'm Gloria Pearson and I'm a certified life coach. Now, do you want to change some things in your life and you feel a little frustrated because there's no changes going on? Maybe you want a relationship, a new job, more money. Well, you have to be very crystal clear about your intentions in order for them to manifest with the spiritual law of attraction. So this video today, I'm going to go over four steps to get you have some crystal clear intentions. And then the second part, I'm going to take you through a visualization that will imprint those intentions right into your heart and soul. Now, if you enjoy my videos, I ask you to please hit that subscribe button. I'm really grateful for everyone that watches my videos and for all my subscribers. You really help keep me motivated. And if you enjoy this video, hit that like button too. But let's go ahead and get started with some crystal clear intentions. So are you ready to set some intentions? And why do we need intentions? Well, think about it. If you're going to go somewhere, maybe you want to go to a park, you get in your car, you kind of know the direction you're going in, don't you? Maybe you put in a GPS, and, but you have a definite direction. Well, it's the same with your intentions. If you want some changes in your life, you need some direction. You need some definite intentions. It's, another example is like an architect. He has in his mind what he wants the final house to be. And it's the same with your intentions. You have to have them in your mind and your soul. Imprint them in your subconscious mind because that is what is connected to source and that's what will come into your life. Our thoughts become things, but you have to be definite about what you want and consistent. I usually find that's one of the hardest things is to be consistent. Because with the spiritual law of attraction, it's thinking more about what we want than what we don't want. And that's kind of hard, isn't it? I know it is for me. We kind of dwell on the things we don't like in our life and instead try and switch that around and think about what you do want. If it is a relationship, not a specific person, but what's the essence of what you want. If it's in a new job, picture yourself in that new job. But first we're gonna go over four steps for you to define the intentions, and then I'm gonna take you through a guided visualization, so we're gonna start imprinting them right in your heart. Another thing I wanna say is, when you do your intentions, believe and know, beautiful soul, that you are deserving of them. It's not just the other people over there that can have a happier, better, more abundant life. You can too, you deserve it. But sometimes we just have to define it and also ask for help. We have so many guardian angels, God, source, the universe, put it out there and ask for help and it will come. But now let's go over our four steps. The first is normally there are four areas with intentions that people want to change. Love, relationships, health, career, or self-expression. It could be doing something creative, and prosperity. So write a box and think of these four steps. And you may want to do this and stop the video and then start it again. And on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being very satisfied, 1 being not, write those numbers 1 to 10. And think about it. Like I said, you can stop the video and think about this a little bit and then turn it, up, turn it back on again. But, and the ones where you have the five or less, maybe that's where you want the intentions. That's when you want to write something. And you could just pick one to start with and write an intention of where you really want change in your life. So that's the first step. The second is, here again, we have the four areas, but in the center is the spirituality. And to me, it's like the, uh, that's what drives the car, is that spirituality. Because you can have intentions, but you have to believe. You have to have faith. And you have to work at it as a daily basis, believing and knowing that the universe will bring you what you want. Now, it may not be in the time frame you want, but it will, and that's where the spirituality and the faith comes in, and that's important. Now, once you write your one or two intentions, 
what actions do you need to take? Are there any actions that you need to take, even if it's small ones, constructively? Because again, that's a big shout out to the universe. So the third is your action steps. And the fourth is when you have your intentions, I want you to read them out loud at least twice a day in the morning at night. Because again, you're putting them in your subconscious mind. And also I suggest don't share it with anybody because you don't want to dissipate any of the energy you're putting towards this with the law of attraction. So next, we're gonna start the visualization. Now, if you don't have one or two intentions, again, stop the video, think about it, write them down, and then turn it back on to get ready for this visualization. Okay, are we ready? For the visualization, I want you to close your eyes and relax. Kind of shake out any tension you might have in your body. And I want you to breathe. Breathe in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Take some deep breaths. Now I want you to breathe in and when you breathe out, sigh and release any tension. Give you a couple moments to just keep breathing. Okay, now I want to, you to visualize that you're standing and in front of you is this magnificent violet temple. It has big steps going up to the door and it almost is luminescent. The violet is so strong and so beautiful and you feel so at peace that you want to enter this temple. So you walk up the steps and you remove your shoes out of respect. As you walk in, the violet light is surrounding you and your feet feel cool against the marble floor. Now I want you to look around and find a place to sit. It doesn't matter. Listen to your heart. Now when you're sitting, I want you to look in front of you and there's a magnificent violet flame. A beautiful violet flame. And imagine this flame is just surrounding you with this violet light. Now I want you to put your left hand over your heart, your heart chakra. And I want you to breathe in and just imagine this beautiful violet light. And then I want you to say, I am the purity of the violet flame. I am the purity of the violet flame. And imagine this flame is cleansing you. It's cleansing your energy. It's cleansing your aura. And it feels so good. Now, are there any hurts, betrayals, disappointments that come up? If they do, let the violet flame cleanse them. I am the purity of the violet flame and this violet flame will cleanse all those hurts, disappointments, anything that is stopping you from moving forward with your heart's desires. Now I want you to put your left and right hand right over your heart, your heart chakra. And I want you to breathe in this violet flame and imagine it going right into your heart chakra, this beautiful violet flame right in the heart chakra. Now I want you to focus on your dreams and desires. Spend a few moments 
What are those intentions? What are your dreams and desires? And focus on them. Now I want you to listen. Are there any messages that you're receiving from the universe, from your spirit guides? Listen if there's any messages. Ask for guidance. Okay. Put your hands back on your lap. Take a few breaths, cleansing breaths. And when you're ready, open up your eyes and return to the room. Now, how did that feel? Now, I would suggest if you had any messages, write them down so you don't forget them. And this could be done as many times as you want. You could do it once a day because you want to put those intentions right in your heart, right in your soul, so they will come true. Now, again, if you enjoy my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that might enjoy this video or could benefit from it, share it with them. And again, I will see you next week. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Until then.